Well, I remember the first time I saw him. And then I was would not get close to him because I didn't want to be embarrassed. I guys like playing with God. And his hands are going from club to club, but he's not looking at the clubs, checking the wind. So he didn't look in a bag. He felt them. And finally he reached in, pulled something out, he hit it. Just head high, dead straight, and didn't move. He knocked it in about two feet from the hole. He had a he had a routine and, and he stuck with it. But you talk about leg action and coming into that ball, it was blinding speed. Trajectory was everything to him. Every shot had a purpose, low, medium, high. You know, he came out so rough, as everybody knows. Hmm. Failure was not an option. As people know, Ben's daddy shot himself. He put it right there. And Ben was in the room when it happened. That had to have something to do with, with his stiffness, his within himselfness. He could be tough. He could be very tough, especially if you invade his privacy. Those steely gray eyes of his, he went into those trances almost every shot. It might have been the U.S. Open or five bucks. It didn't make any difference. He never walked up and lackadaisically hit a shot. Never. I mean, he studied it. He worked his tail off for a lot of years and became one hell of a player. I mean, talk about solid. Understanding everything about the wind, the grass, everything. When they uh, opened up his desk after he passed away, he had algebra problems, all kinds of stuff in his top drawer. And here's a guy that just that learned it from the grass roots up. And he walked into his shot almost dead square every time. And you knew exactly what he was going to hit. Fade, low, high, draw. That winter he went out to Phoenix on the way back is when they hit him in the car, when the bus hit him. And it's amazing that they said he should have been killed. Said that uh, he jumped over in front of Valerie, but it just tore his legs all to hell because that's where the mortar went right there. And they didn't think he'd even walk, much less play golf again. Well, he won most of his majors after that. Excellence, personal philosophy, whatever he did had to be excellent. That'd be the best way to describe him. That's my remembrance of him is that he is a man that really spent his lifetime being sure that what he did was absolutely perfect. Because it reflects in everything he touched. But I have the thought nowadays of hoping to put back into golf what I've subtracted. And I'd like to put back much more than I have subtracted. And God willing, I will. <laughs>